So let's make GANs controllable. So what we saw before is that we can use conditional GANs to basically say, yes, I want a certain object type, or I want a certain breed of cat. But now, when I would talk about controllable, I would like things like this. Can you rotate the cat's head to the right? Or can you make the cat's, cat bigger? Can you make the cat older? Things like that. So that's something that at least with conditional GANs is hard to achieve. We, we, in other words, we now want to have specific properties that we can specifically manipulate. What are we thinking about? Now, like, if these are the original images that we have on the left-hand side, we might want to be able to change age. Now we make them older. Add eyeglasses to it. Um, swap the gender. Uh, change the gender. Um, change the pose. Things like that. We want things that we can meaningfully manipulate here. So what's the comparison with conditional? No? In conditional, you choose the class. You need labels. You append the labels. The idea with controllable is we want a large database where we can instead choose features like age and where we have a large unlabeled data set. Of course, if we want to control age, we need training data that tells us about age. But that's it. And then we can... Uh, we will append, uh, in this case, we can append labels where we, here we might want to manipulate C. What would we ideally want? We would ideally want independently manipulatable access in Z, where you can say, yeah, this thing, if it's one, means glasses. If it's zero, means no glasses. This thing, if it's one, means you're really old. If this is zero, you're really young. Something with skin color, hair color, and so on and so forth. For example, we can make people, everyone's uh, hair color blue, which would be very cool. And can we just do that with conditional? No, like, but here's the problem. If we, uh, we can, for example, use eyeglasses. Look what happens if you use a conditional GAN to do that. If we add eyeglasses, the more eyeglass we add, the older the person gets. Why? All, there is a correlation of age with wearing eyeglasses in this world. Now, and like this entangling is generally a problem, and we want to be careful about that. And besides, um, conditional GANs are uh, for certain applications a lot less efficient than the controllable ones that we'll talk about. So what are the tricks? We will modify images to produce features of images. Uh, features of interest, and we'll try and make the Z components independently. Independent. So and it turns out that we can do a lot of these things with backpropagation. So we have a generator, and now we have a classifier for the features that we're interested in. No? So Z goes in, the generator draws a face. Now the classifier runs on this and says, this, the probability that this, is, this image is actually blonde might be 10%. And then we can use feedback from the output of the classifier to go down the gradient in Z space and basically say, how can we change this so that this image gets to be more blonde? And after doing that, we might get that this person is now to, uh, predicted to be blonde with high probability. And with this, you can see how hair color. Of course, a better example would be blue hair. Now, why don't you try it? Control a pre-trained GAN using a pre-trained classifier.